Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zenotic Consulting. Uh, my name is Tyler Colts, and this video is actually a snippet from our full product tutorial on Zoho Click uh, that we uploaded in November of 2022. Um, so in this snippet, we're going to be talking through bots inside of Click, um, essentially how to install them. I think we use the CRM bot as an example and a couple of the things that they can do to enhance Click for you. Um, so we do hope that you find this video useful. And if you do, we ask that you please like and subscribe down below as that really does help us out. Um, and if you have any feedback or questions, please drop those into the comments section as we do read and respond to just about each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks again and enjoy. To get started, we'll jump up into this menu in the top right, as we so like to do. And here, rather than going into our settings or admin panel, we'll jump into bots and tools. And so here we'll see we have two bots that are already installed. Um, the CRM bot is actually installed automatically when you connect CRM into Click. It's also the same for like Zoho Desk. When you do that, uh, it'll install a little desk bot in here that affords you certain abilities. If I open up the bot here, we'll see that um, you know, you're able to set just basic things like, should everybody be able to use this? Are there any particular like action items that you wanna display as part of the menu when someone tries to use it? Um, but nothing too crazy under our connections here. Under our commands are where we actually get into some of the good stuff. So inside of these commands, these are actually defined by the bots that we have installed. So if I look at the ZCRM one, the main kind of functionality of these slash commands are to search within CRM. So I'll show you these in just a moment. Um, and it'll show you essentially what the pre-header is that you would need to use to actually use the bot in a chat. A couple other little things, you can have message actions included with bots. So with the CRM, it actually gives you the ability to send something to a note in CRM directly from click. Um, that's kind of a fun one. We've done a few little implementations that use that in clever and uh, kind of inventive ways. Widgets I'm going to skip for right now. You can also build out custom functions as part of these bots as well as schedules. And then the last thing I'll highlight before I show you how they work is that you can actually create your your own bot, right? You you can build out your complete own tool in here. Um, you know, we have one internally called Zoom E where you can slash command to ask it if somebody is in a Zoom meeting. And if they are, it'll display a little menu that says, do you want a notification when they're not in a Zoom meeting? Right. So if I have something to ask Brett and I look at his calendar and I see, oh, he might still be in that session, I can just check without having to message him. Right. I can just check with Zoomy. It says, yep, Brett's, Brett's on a Zoom call right now. And then I know to just be patient, wait a little bit, and then it'll tell me when he is free. And then we can sync up on whatever is on my mind. But so to actually use the bots, if I go back in this sales notifications channel and I type slash Z, I guess if I just type slash, we'll actually see there's a whole bunch of different slash commands that are kind of native through um, click. One of my favorites here is slash shrug, which will send the little uh, emote there for shrugging, unless it doesn't work like it did there. Um, but here, what I'll show is under our ZCRM, so, oh, there it is. It just took a moment to get through. I was getting nervous that we wouldn't get our shrug. Um, so here under ZCRM, it's actually going to prompt me and let me know that I'm on the right track. And then if I were to type like deals, for example, the name of a certain module, so here I can do deals, leads, tasks, really anything that is inside of CRM. I can go ahead and grab the one that I want to send out and it will actually post a little card of that directly into your chat. A lot of the times, too, it's going to kind of hold these as only visible for you until you choose to post them. So if you did kind of make sure you wanted to pick the right one before you sent it, you know, maybe you have two deals with a really similar name. Um, you can actually take a look at it before you commit to sending it through. The other one here would be like notebook, right? So we can actually search within our notes. I think it should give me a search on the word example. I mean, not a minor searched example. I might, I might need to know a little more granularly what my notes are. Um, but you can pull those here directly into Click. Again, Desk is another really popular one. So that you could search by any ticket number and actually link that directly through to a channel 
if there's anything that needs some additional um, review by a group or a topic team. But really the big thing with the bots is that their goal is to enable your team to reference information from outside of Click without having to leave Click. Um, Zoho has kind of a fun little line that they use about Click where they want it to be the command line of Zoho, right? That in an ideal world, I mean, obviously you're gonna need to go to CRM and desk to do things, but that if you're in a conversation with somebody, you should just be able to have that conversation and reference any of the information that lives within other Zoho applications without having to leave click. And those bots do a really good job at it. I mean, I always recommend like if, um, if you're rolling out a new Zoho application and you're already a user of click, always check if there's any pre-built integrations, right? Like you could say, you know what? I don't need any automated notifications coming from CRM. It's still worth integrating it so that you get this bot and you're able to do these little searches and quick commands that are just gonna end up saving you a whole bunch of time and effort in the long run. So always worth digging in. As you see, a lot of these pre-baked ones are pretty easy to set up. Um, so we always kind of recommend with Click to just take a crack at it, right? Start playing around, start building a couple of these integrations, and you'll probably come up with some really fun ideas uh, to improve communication for your team. I think anything else there, Brett, that you'd want to add in about bots? No, I think we covered it all. I mean, they're again, <clears throat> powerful, <laughs> very nice and handy to pull in information at your fingertips. You know, you can just really do away with a lot of junk that goes into email and just other notifications. And, you know, just like we say, Click is a nice place where you can consolidate all your information, your, your team conversations, your individual conversations. Um, uh, I, I don't think we can uh, speak highly enough about it. But, yeah, uh, it was a great example of the bots, and it is a quick way to you know ping CRM, you know quickly just look something up, quickly share it with somebody. You know, oftentimes I'm sitting there and somebody says, "Hey, what client?" and I just type slash Z CRM, so boom, and just send them the card, and there then from are. there they can click and go right to it. Just makes it dead simple. Yep, and I think too you hit on a good thing there is that you know, by adopting click more and more, you're able to draw a nice line between channels of communication. So I know that 98% of what comes into my email is from clients or prospects, right? And so I have like a nice place where all of my internal stuff is coming in from. So that if you are kind of like me and you block out parts of your day to clear out your email inbox, you can still get to those internal things without getting them kind of mixed in with all of your external focused work. Um, so super, super also, valuable. You know, the ability to mute a channel, mute it for an hour, mute it for a half an hour, uh, mute everything. I mean, I didn't actually cover it in my overview, but, you know, in the upper uh, top left-hand corner there, you've got the little speaker with the X on it, and you can click on that. That basically is just turning off. That's kind of your own little private mute <laughs> of everything because you're not going to get any, it's not going to beep you anytime a message comes in. But the ability to kind of do that, um, it, it really allows you to focus. Great productivity tool. I don't think, uh, I think, don't think there's anything more we can say about it, Tyler.